Mother! His magic was the only thing keeping her alive. I'm so sorry. I knew you would come. You know me. I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Carver again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I'll be fine, Mother. My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? Mother's gone. Will knowing why ease the pain? No, it won't. It will always seem senseless, won't it? Where's the one who did this to her? Did you find the person who killed Leandra? He's dead. It won't bring Leandra back, but I'll take comfort in knowing that. I will deal with breaking the news to Bethany. You've enough on your mind. Take care, my boy. Alas, Ma Vinan. I'm glad you're here, Meryl. Leandra is in a better place now. She's with the Maker. Or with Falandeen. You never know. Everything that's left of my life in Lothering. Everything that's left of my life in Lothering. Poor Prince. I told him to stay off the bed. I want to go home. All the cleanings. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise.
Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Hawk. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say. At least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? I'm just going to let it go for a while. But I appreciate the thought. Good. Maybe that's enough. If you need anything, go ahead and get it yourself. That's what I needed. And we're not so different. Find it. How much longer do I have to wait? It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. The Arishok says nothing good about Kirkwall, yet he accepts conversions. I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. Did anyone else see him leaving for the compound? He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are... delicate. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Ahawk. You know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason, and you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. You are looking well, Sir Ahawk. Bring my son home, Sir Ahawk. This could all go very wrong.
all are forbidden, except you, for now. Well, hope the Viscount's boy hasn't settled in. Sirrah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Ba still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Don't make things worse by marching your men through the streets without cause. This is cause. This is the last insult I will suffer, Hawk. I will be watching. Vidathari are of the Kuhn. This offense will have an answer. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Ba still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, 